Thanks for joining us for our math lesson today. Can everyone say hello? Hello! Let's do our meditation. That's right. Use two fingers to find our heart center. Left hand in our lap and close your eyes. Feel for boom, 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 boom in your heart center. Move your right hand into your lap. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your mouth closed. Keep your mind on your heart center. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One. Two. And our last one, three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers. Slowly open your eyes, and we're ready to begin our math lesson. In this lesson, we're going to continue talking about division, and today we're really going to think about how division is the opposite of multiplication, and how multiplication is the opposite of division. So we're gonna take a look at some warm-ups, take a look at some fact families, and do a little bit of practice all together. So first, let's do some warm-ups with our multiplication problems. We're going to do it the same way we did in our last lesson, where we're thinking about what number will give us this answer. So we have our number times what number will give us 45. So 9 times what gives us 45? Raise your hand when you have an idea. Keep it secret. <laughs> One. Two, five. three, five. Good. Did you use your finger trick? Yeah. Great. Nine times five gives us 45. Yeah. Six times what number will give us 24? Hmm. Six times what number will give us 24? Raise your hand when you have an idea. Okay. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, great job. Six One, times two, four. Three, four. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? One, two, three, four. Six times four gives us 24. Okay, what a number. Five times what number 
will give us 30. Think about it and raise your hand when you have an idea. What is it? Five times six. Five times six. Great job. You got it, bud. Five times six gives us 30. Okay, let's think about four times what? Gives us 32. Four times what number gives us 32? Hmm. Got an idea? <laughs> okay, let's all say it together. One, two, three. What number? Seven. Not seven. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Good, yeah. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Four times eight will give us our thirty-two. Nice job. Let's try what number times nine gives us seventy-two. We just switched the order of our missing number. It's still the same thing. This would also still be nine times what number equals 72? Yeah. It's okay to change the order when we do times or division. It's still gonna be the same. So what number times nine gives us 72? Or nine times what number gives us 72? I got it. We got it? I got it. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah very nice. 8 times 9, 72. 9 times 8 equals 72. We have multiplication. We can change the order, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. So, 3 times what number gives us 18? Or what number times 3 gives us 18? We can think about that the same way. It doesn't matter which number comes first. When we use times, we can switch that order. It's okay. Got some ideas? Okay. One, two, three. Good. Three times six. Or we can say six times three. Do we get 18 for both answers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We sure do. Sure do. So five times what number will give us 35? Or we can think what number times five equals 35? Now think about that in your mind. Raise your hand. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Nice job, friends. Five times seven is 35, or seven times five is 35. Is it okay if we change the order? Yeah. yeah, it's still the same answer. We still get 35 for both of those. Okay, let's do a couple more, and then we're gonna do some fact families. Four times what number is 28? We talked about this one just recently. Or what number times four gives us 28? Think about it in your mind. These go together, because it's okay for us to change that order. Four times what number is 28? Or we can think what number times four gives us 28? Got some ideas? Yeah. Okay, what do you think, Down? Seven. Good, it's seven. Yeah, four times seven is 28, and seven times four is 28. Okay, last one. Six times what number is 36? Or what number times six equals 36? Think about it in your mind. Got an answer. 
6 times what number is 36? Or what number times 6 is 36? Okay, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Are these the same? Are they exactly the same? Yeah, they are. That's kind of funny. No, we're going to do some fact families now with a couple of problems. So we're going to do some fact families, J just a few. We're not going to do them with plus and minus, though. We're going to do them with times and divisions. So we're going to do multiplication and division. But they work the same way. They all keep the same numbers. We're just going to change around some of the signs a little bit. And we'll do a lot more practice with this today. But this is just going to start us off. So let's think about five times what number gives us 40? Or what number times five gives us 40? Okay, got some ideas, friends? Okay, everybody together, what is it? Uh-huh, very nice. It's eight. It's eight. So we've got half of our fact family. We've got our times. Now we're going to think about some of our fact family members with division. Division. So just like in subtraction with our fact families, we want to start with our biggest number first. So we're going to put our biggest number first. What's the opposite of times? What's the opposite? Divide. Divide. So we're going to say 40 divided by 8. We can do 8 first. That's cool. Equals 5. Equals 5. What other equation can we add? We've got 1, 2, 3. We need 4. We need one more. And it needs to be divided. Yeah, great job. 40 divided by 5 is going to give us 8. Good. So that's how our fact families work for multiplication and division. That's one whole family all together like that. We have our multiplication. We change the order. For division, we put our biggest number first, and we change the order for our answer and our number that we're dividing by. So let's do one more. Let's see. Three times what is going to give us 24? Or what number times three will give us 24? So three times what number is 24? Or what number times three is 24? Think about what number that could be. Hmm. Got an idea? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Seven. Mm, seven. It's okay. What do you think? Eight. 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 Yeah, that's cool. That's okay. Thank you for answering. You're the only person who had their hand raised, so that's cool. <laughs> Good try. Okay, we've got our multiplication fact family. We switch the order here. How can we make our two division equations? What do we need to start first? 24. Mm -hmm. Good. We need 24, our biggest number, to go first. 24. Five. Five. Divided by? Eight. eight. We can do eight first. Equals three. Equals three. Or 24. We can say 24, our biggest number, divided by 3, 
equals eight. Very nice job, friends. So those are how we make our fact families, and we're going to practice some more later on in our lesson. Okay, so we're going to think about our fact families and multiplication or times and division are opposites. They're opposites. So what, what colors do you see here? Black and white. Black and white. Black and white are opposites. Can you think of another opposite? No. Two solid. Think of minus and plus. Minus and plus are opposites. Up and down are opposites. Yeah, back and front. Divide. Yeah, times and divide are opposites too. Good job, friends. So black and white are some opposites. Subtraction and addition. Subtraction and addition. Minus and plus are opposites. And also, division and multiplication are opposites. Those two things are opposites. So that's why when we're making our fact families, we do our fact families with subtraction and addition together and division and multiplication together because those are opposites. So that's why we put them all together in our fact families. We have two from plus, two with minus to make four, and we have two with multiplication and two with division to make our four members of our fact family. So everybody put your eyes up here. And we're gonna go through some division problems. Yeah, we're gonna talk about some division problems. So we've got some spiders. How many spiders do we have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yep, we've got 10 spiders. <laughs> 10 spiders, we're going to make two groups. Two groups, how many are inside each group? Good, so we have two groups, one, two, two circles, and inside all of those circles are five spiders. Five spiders. So can you think how we can make this with division? How can we write this with division? We want to start with our biggest number. So how many all together? Good. Ten. Divided by five. Mm -hmm. Ten. And we made groups of five. How many groups do we make of five? Two. two. Yeah, so 10 divided by five gives us two. Very nice. Two, two groups, one, two, of how many spiders inside every group? Two groups of five, you got it. And that equals our 10 spiders that we started with. So two groups, five spiders inside each group or circle. We have 10 spiders all together. So we can think of this with multiplication too. We can say one, two groups times five spiders in each group equals our whole number of spiders all together, which is 10. Or we can start from division. Our biggest number, 10. How many spiders are all together? divided by five spiders in each group, and we have two groups. So we can think of it two ways. We're gonna use that to help make some fact families later in our lesson. How many spiders do we have here? Eight. We have eight spiders. So we're gonna make groups of two. We're gonna take our whole number, eight spiders, and we're gonna make groups of two. We have one, two, Three, four. So four groups inside every group, two spiders. spiders. So we can write this with division. We start with our big number, eight, divided by two equals four. Good, very nice. Eight spiders divided by two 
and we end up with four groups. Gives us four groups all together. Or if we want to do it with times or multiplication, we can change it up a little bit. Good. Yeah, we can take four groups. One, two, three, four groups of two, 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 two. Four groups of two equals eight. And we know that groups of is just another way that we can say times. So we can change groups of to our times. And we have four times two spiders is eight spiders. Are you starting to see how it makes a little family? Yeah. A little fact family? Yeah. So let's take a look at this. Six times six three. Times three. Six we practiced that one today. What's six times three? Eighteen. Eighteen. Six times three is eighteen. So how can we make this start with eighteen and division? Divide, divide. Hmm, what can we do? We've got eighteen. Good, we could say 18 divided by three is six. Or we could say 18 divided by six is three. That's kind of the same thing. So we want to check. We've got our six here, six here. What other number do you see two times? Three here, three here. Three here, three here. What other number do you see two times? Our 18. When we have times, it's very important when we have times, our biggest number is going to be our answer. For times, our biggest number is our answer. When we have divide, our biggest number is first. Okay, we have our biggest number first. Right over there. Let's look at one more of these and we can use Multiplication to check division, or division to check multiplication, because they're opposites. But what about nine times four? What's nine times four? 32. Not 32, you're close. 32. Check your fingers. 36. Check on your fingers, raise your hand when you know. Check on your fingers, do your math check. 46. 36. Yeah, one, two, three, four. We have three over here, six over here, 36. 36, so nine times four is 36. How can we write a division problem? 36. Yeah, good. Very nice, we start with our biggest number first, 36, as our friends told us, divided by four. Four equals nine. We've got our 36 is like this, our nine's like this, and our four stay in the middle. And so we know we've got it right. We've got our opposites here. And we can check our division with multiplication, and we can check our multiplication with division. So we're going to do a couple of fact families at the board. We'll do some together to practice, and then some friends are going to come up and show us how to do it. So we have these three numbers to start. What numbers do we have? 15, 3, and 5. So I need some help making a fact family for multiplication. Do you want to come up too and help us? Okay, are you going to do our times or division? Division. Division, okay. Do our division. Laka, you'll do our multiplication. So use these three numbers, 15, 3, and 5. And let's put our fact families over here next to each other. We'll do this one in blue. We have 15, 3, and 5. 15, 3, and 5. Prowl's working on our division. Time. And you're going to do our times. Black is going to do our times. Or our multiplication. And can you write it out all this way? Oh. Yep. Just very nice. 
So we've got, for division, we've got our biggest number first. Good job. Okay, very nice. Okay, we've got one, two. Can you show us one more so that you have two for multiplication? You got it. <laughs> Very nice. Three times five is 15. And five times three is also gonna be 15. Good, can you tell us our equations here? 15 divided by equal three. Five, 15 divided equal 5. Very nice. What do you have, Leka? 3 times 5 equals 15. Well, 5 times 3 equals 15. Good job. So for division, we've got our biggest number first. For multiplication, we've got our biggest number as our answer. Very nice job, girls. Let's do a couple more numbers. What numbers do we have? 20. 24 and 5. Okay, girls, come on up. There you go. Uh, divide? Yes. Okay, you're gonna, okay, Down's going to do divide. You're going to do times for this one. So come over here. So you're going to do times. And Down, you can come over here. And we'll do our division. So you're going to use the numbers 20, 4, and 5. And they're going to make a fact family for us. Looking good so far. We've got <laughs> our times and our division. OK, that looks great. Can you tell us what you have? Four times five equal 20. Or five times four equal 20. Very nice. Is our biggest number first or last? Last. Yeah, our biggest number is our answer. Great job. Okay, can you tell us what you have? Twelve. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. Eleven. Four equal five. Good. And what's the other one? This one. Twenty. Eleven. Five equal four. Very good. We have our biggest number first for our division. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay. What do you do? What? So Pot's going to start with the biggest number. Oh, no, you're good. You were doing okay. For multiplication for times, our biggest number is going to be in our answer. We need our biggest number. Is our biggest number 4? 42. Two. Yeah, there it is. Take a look at our numbers one more time. We need our biggest number to be our answer. 7 times 42. Hmm. What's our biggest number? 8, 7, or 42? What's 42. the 42. So 42 is going to be over in our answer here. 42 divided by 8 is looking good. What other number do you need over there? 7. So here we need 42 to be our, our answer, our biggest number. So erase 42. Erase 42. We're going to erase 42. We need the 42 over here to be our answer, our biggest number. Mm -hmm. So what number are we missing? Seven times what number gives us 42? Zero. Zero? Oh, hold on. Actually, sorry. We need to go back for this one. Forty-five. And eight. And eight. Okay. And eight. And eight. So you're going to be division. You're going to start with your biggest number. Four 
40. Divided by eight equals five. Very nice. We've got our biggest number first. Good job. Five times eight is 40. What other can we make here? And Pot, you want to keep 40 your biggest number first. So you want to start with 40. So we want to start with 40. Uh oh. Okay, what do you have for us? 5 times 8 equals 40. Mm -hmm. Good job. Our biggest number for times is in our answer. Okay. Thank you very much. We have 40 divided by 8 equals 5. What other equation can we make? 40 divided by... Not 8 again. 5. 5, yeah. 40 divided by 5 will give us 8. Very nice job. So those are our... Fact families, two for division, two for multiplication. You guys did a great job. Okay, what numbers do we have now? 54, six, and nine. 54, six, and nine. Who wants to come up and do it? Okay, pang pong and down. Come on up, sure. Division, okay, here you go. Your times, okay, go over there. Yep, it's okay. I know, friends. We're gonna do some different turns here. If you want to take a turn, you can. If you don't want to take a turn, then you don't have to take a turn. Okay. Good job, Pam Pon, starting with our biggest number first for division. <laughs> Down's got our biggest number last for multiplication. Very nice. All right, tell us what you have. Six times nine equals 54. Nine times six equals 54. Very nice job. That looks great for that part of our fact family. Good. We've got our biggest number first. Hold on, biggest number first. Biggest number first. All right, tell us what you have. 20, <laughs> 54. Mm -hmm. Divided by? Divided by 9 equals 6. Good, and what's this one? 54. 54. Divided by? Divided by 6 equals 9. Very nice job, friends. Great work, great work. Okay, Pro and Nid, come on up. Okay. What numbers do we have? Six. What numbers? Seven. Fifty-six. Seven and eight. And eight. Fifty-six. So for division, biggest number first. All right. Good. <laughs> We've got our biggest number. Very big. I like it. Okay, friend, for times, for times, we want our biggest number after our equal sign. So we want 56 over here. So we're going to erase 56 and put 56 right here. That's cool. That's cool. So we want our biggest number at the end. Very nice. So our 8 goes in the middle. 56. You got it, friend. Good job. Prow's got one. Hold on. We want to keep our biggest number over here. Hold on, friend. We want our biggest number over here. That's 56. Erase that one. For times, we want our biggest number as our answer. As our answer. So let's change it. We're going to take these and this and 
switch it around so we can make eight right here eight times our seven this number this one there we go yeah equals 56 56, great job. Okay, all right. Good job. Tell us what we have. Seven, Seven. Seven. times eight, eight. eight. equals, equals. 56. 56. 56, good. Or eight, eight. Ten. Ten. Seven. Seven equals. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Very nice job. Proud. Tell us what you have. Hold on. Fifty-six divided eight equals seven. Fifty-six divided seven equals eight. Very nice job. We've got a beautiful fact family here for this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pang uh, Pang Pan and Pak Bung. If they're not raising their hands, they don't have to go. It's okay. Division. Division. Okay, what numbers do you have, guys? Eight. Eight? Eight, 32, four. Okay, eight, 32, and four. Show us how to do it. <laughs> Good. For division, we've got our biggest number first. Very nice. <laughs> 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Okay, tell us what you have, Pak Boom. 8 times 4 equals 32, or 4 times 8 equals 32. Very nice job, Pang Pang. Tell us what you have. 32? 32. Divided by? Divided by 8 equals 4. And? 32. Divided by? Divided by 4 equals 8. Very nice job, friends. Okay, great job, everybody. Let's take a little break, and we're going to do some stretching so everybody can stand up. <laughs> great job. Everybody did a wonderful job. So let's stretch our arms up high. Stretch out all your fingers. Good job. Stretch down low. Stretch up high. Stretch down low. Stretch up high. Stretch up higher. <laughs> Get up on your toes. Stretch up higher. Good job. Stretch low. Stretch in the middle. Stretch up high. Stretch up higher. <laughs> Stretch down low. Good job, friends. Okay, let's put our arms with our elbows out. Make sure you're not going to hit a neighbor. And twist your shoulders and your back a little bit. Very nice. Stretch your back and your shoulders and your arms. <laughs> you want to do that one again? You like that one? <laughs> okay, good. Let's stretch our arms up high. Stretch all your fingers. Put your arms in a T. And ta -ta, touch your toes. Come up halfway, swing your arms, pretend they're very heavy. Very nice. Stand up straight and tall. Let's practice balancing. Stand on one foot. Stand on one foot. You can put your knee, your leg over your knee. You can put it behind your knee. Whatever you want to do. If you can balance like this, put your arms out. If you can balance with your arms out, you can fly a little bit. Try to fly a little bit like a bat or a butterfly <laughs> or a little bird or an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Good job, friends. Okay, stand on two feet. Stand on two feet. Let's switch legs. 
Stand on your other foot. You can put your leg in front or behind. If you can stand like that, you can put your arms out. You can put your arms out. You can try to fly a little bit. Like this, yeah. Mm. <laughs> She's flying fast. Good job, friends. You can fly like a bat or a butterfly, like a little bird, like a little bumblebee or an airplane. Mm. <laughs> Do fish fly? <laughs> okay, good job, friends. Stand on two feet. Stand on two feet. Let's do two claps. Let's do three jumps. Let's take four steps. Two. And one spin. <laughs> Very nice job. Everybody can take a seat. We're going to finish up the third page of our worksheets. We just have two more problems, so it's going to go really fast. And I think everybody knows what to do. We're going to count how many things we have all together. Then it, we're going to look and see how to make our groups. And we're going to finally write blank groups of blank. Does everybody remember how to do this? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> nope. Actually, you'll take that one. So first, you're going to start with your cups. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. With your cups, yep. So count up your cups. Count all those cups up. See how many there are. How many are there? Twelve. Twelve cups. Okay, that's the answer to your first question. Twelve cups. And how many groups do we need to make on those cups? Six. Six, okay. So on your paper, you're going to make groups of? What, is it, what does it say on your paper? Make groups of? Two. Two, okay. So you're going to circle groups of two on those cups. So you're going to circle groups of two with those cups. Mm -hmm. If you're finished, you can keep working on the next one. Okay, Pang Pang, can you circle groups of two for us? So we have 12 cups all together. Look at him go. He's so fast. <laughs> So how many cups are there? All the cups. How many cups are there? Twelve. Great job. Mm -hmm. So our first answer is we have twelve cups. Twelve cups. The paper tells us we are going to make groups of two cups. So two cups inside every circle. And how many groups? Six groups. Six groups, like Pang, Pang showed us. We have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So, six groups of? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah, six groups of two, and that gives us twelve. So we can think of this as six divided by twelve is two. Or? Six groups of two cups. Okay, what do we have next? Lamps. Okay. How many do we have? Can you count them? Ten? Okay. Ten lamps. I'm just going to make them like this. <laughs> and how many groups does it tell us to make with those ten lamps? say on our paper? Make groups of? Two. Two. Five. Five. For our lamps, make groups of how many? Five. Five. What does it say on the paper? Five. Make groups of? Five. five. Make groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, 
10. Okay, so we are going to make groups of five. Do you, do you want to make groups of five for us? Do you want to make groups of five? Yeah. Come on. Okay, so you're going to circle five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, very nice. One, two, three, four, five, very nice. Thanks for joining us today for our math lesson. Everybody say goodbye. Bye -bye.